Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So in this video, we're going to have a look at Battle Dome, which is a new sort of mini game that has been uh, launched, which uses the Alien Worlds NFTs. So Alien Worlds, I've just done a video about what's going on there. There's a whole bunch of DAO stuff and, and it's a game that's been around for a while. Um, what's interesting about Battle Dome is, it, is it's um, been funded by the Alien World sort of grant program. So it's, a, it's an independent team who have been sort of funded to, to make this, you know, fairly simple um, sort of um, card strategy game. Uh, one interesting thing in that, though, this is the first time that the some of the Alien Worlds NFTs have been used in a game. So, um, this, particularly the minions and the weapons, they will be used in a sort of a official Alien Worlds um, fighting game that, that's going to go live at some point in 2023. But this is the first time we sort of get to uh, use those NFTs. Um, and uh, because it's just started, there's a, uh, there's a tournament going, so... Uh, Half a million trillion tokens. Trillium is the underlying token for Alien Worlds. That's what you must sort of mine out um, of the game. So I'm not going to go through this uh, medium post in too much detail because we'll go and play the game, obviously. But um, there's a whole bunch of sort of stuff going on here. Um, uh, it's just telling us uh, how much you can you can win. Um, this is telling you how to set it up if you've not already um, got involved with. Uh, Alien Worlds. I guess most people who are playing this game probably will already have Alien World NFTs and already have set up a cloud wallet on the Wax blockchain. This runs on the Wax blockchain. Um, so uh, to play Battle Dome, you need an avatar, a weapon, and a minion. Um, so those are NFTs that are um, live on um, various marketplaces. Atomic Hub is what most people uh, use. You go to play the game on Battle Dome not live, and you connect with your wax wallet um, and then you have uh, you select your nfts and then you sort of select a um oh, we'll go through it you sort of select uh, which nfts you want to use and then you select a sort of uh, one of four um uh, sort of uh, orders as they say here um, and then uh, playing into the sort of the planetary element here you can choose to be aligned to a planet if you're um, involved in that sort of DAO sort of sort of scenario and, and then you register for battle so it's sort of pretty simple you basically make some you choose some nfts you make some moves um a little bit of strategy here, so there's a planetary alignment thing, so you could um, you would don't attack players with the same planetary alignment until players of all other planets are eliminated. So you could have you know, there's a bit of sort of a you, know, you sort of you sort of gang up in a team um, until everyone else is is uh, killed and then you kill yourself, <laughs> then you fight amongst yourselves sort of thing. Um, battle orders. So this is telling us what's going on. Here. So you evade is 20% chance to evade entirely. Defense is reduced down by 10%. Uh, attack strongest. Target the highest health opponent and attack the weakest, attack the lowest one. Um, the battle phases. This is sort of a this is a sort of um, rock paper scissors thing, I suppose. So the battle phase rotates every every hour, um, and there's air, fire, gems, metal, and nature. So NFTs with that element receives receive a bonus. So um, there we go. So let's go and have a actually have a look at it. So here we go. Uh, battle do battle dome live. So we see. Um, so th this is the announcement here. That we just saw about this this um, special tournament. So you can see here, this is my wallet. Um, I have like tiny amounts of wax and trillium in there, but I have 36 NFTs. Um, so uh, looks like, um, I wonder if I can, oh, so I'm gonna create the game. So let's just wait for that to, to go down. So these are games that are finished, so we can see what's going on there. And we can see this is nature, the phase is nature. Oh, it's spectating. Um, so I can't actually play anything at the moment. Maybe go and have a look and see. Um, so this is, uh, there are five players in there. The phase is nature and we can see uh, Planet Neri has dominance this round. Then we see people basically attacking each other. So these are the um, avatars of the players. Uh, and we can see here underneath their different, um, the three NFTs they've chosen and uh, um, what they're choosing to do there. Uh, look, evade and defense and evade and evade. Well, evade's looking like pretty popular. So someone's just died. So they're, they're um, yeah, so these people are dying off. Um, so we could, uh, okay, so. Let's register. So we can register now. So shields up. I'm going to register. It's going to be free. The reward is one orb. Um, so I can select my avatar. This is, I don't think, makes it much odds. So my minions. So um, I have to admit, I don't really have a strong idea about, about what minions is there. Now, I probably I need to actually think um, this is, they said it was Earth, but I can't really see what's going on in terms of the the even if I have any Earth ones. So I'm going to choose fairly randomly. So we saw last time everyone was evading. Evading is interesting because you get a chance to actually miss the entire attack. So one in five times um, you wouldn't get attacked at all. Um, let's go for 
um, attack the weakest. Um, so click on that. And then my planet is Naron, so that's the one, the one that I um, am part of. Uh, so they're going to register. And this is a blockchain game, so we're going to do a, do a transaction on the Wax blockchain. So I don't doesn't pay a gas fee um, to do that because I just have Wax staked into my account, so I get a certain amount of transactions um, to do that. So now I go to the lobby. Um, and now I'm registered for that one. So we just sort of wait, wait to see um, how that happens. So obviously this is, um, you know, a fairly lightweight sort of game. As I said, this is, you know, a, a sort of an indie project from a, um, just someone who was sort of contracted to make a very simple game using these NFTs. This is the first time many of these NFTs have been used in a game. Um, so we can see here, these are my um, NFTs. So I have three avatars, I have 10 minions, 11 weapons, no artifacts. Um, um, my battle history, um, I haven't won anything yet. <laughs> oh no, this is but this is battle of everyone. So these are the different sort of uh, sort of um, uh, attacks that have gone on. So we see uh, 939 games in total, but they just sort of automatically sort of kick in. Leaderboards, I won't be on there. I don't think. Oh, this is a planetary leaderboard, is it? No, this is best players. So I don't. Oh, a planetary leaderboard here. So we can see which is the. Oh, Naron are not doing very well. Only 66. Uh, Neri is doing very well. Um, and uh, oh, Kavana, uh, not so good. Um, rewards. This is the, for the. Okay, top five players, not me. Um, repairs, I don't think is live yet, is it? Oh, I have two NFTs that do need repairs. Okay, so interesting. So it's going to cost me Trillium to repair cards. This is interesting because at the moment Trillium sort of being used to, um, obviously, uh, you can sort of stake it into the planets as the DAO thing. Um, you can sort of change it for wax to buy NFTs, but um, it's been quite an, quite an extractive um, currency in general. So basically, people sort of mine it out and then I imagine just sort of swap it for Binance or something. Um, uh, but here, uh, I can actually have to repair some of my cards, so that's sort of interesting. I don't have enough trillium at the moment, but now I need to save some up to, to know I need to. Oh, so that's only one trillium, okay. Or I, could, or I can wait to repair it for free. But I could just do this now and spend some trillium repairing my my card. So it's always nice to have sort of repair, repair mechanics. I think you know a bit of skin in the game there. Um, how much is this? Um, uh, two. I can probably just just about get away with that. So there we go. Um, so I've repaired my cards and then the shop's not coming soon. So there we go. So early sort of early stage sort of scenario. Um, but yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is what it is. Um, let's go and have another go. Let's. Uh, um, what weapon should we choose this time? Let's have that one. Orders. Let's go for uh, strong attack and same planet. So you know, it's just added added utility. And as I say, there is a there is a sort of deeper um, PVP sort of uh, game using those NFTs sort of, sort of come, coming later on. But this is sort of something that we're seeing actually with a lot of NFT projects now. So Axie Infinity has these um, a similar grants program where it has these indie developers making very simple games using some of these uh, existing NFTs. Splinterlands is doing that a bit more formally uh, internally, um, and also uh, Crypto Unicorns is doing something similar where. It has um, a whole bunch of games, some of which are not blockchain games, but sort of using using their sort of artwork and characters. So, so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with these more um, successful blockchain game projects looking to expand. And obviously, this is interoperability. This is sort of something that we talk about a lot in blockchain games. If you have some NFTs on a blockchain, um, effectively anyone can make a game based around that. I'm not saying these are the best examples <laughs> of that, but but you have to start somewhere. Um, and uh, uh, sort of good to see that happening. So I'll keep an eye on this. Um, if, I, if I win anything, I'll have to do a big video about that one. Um, but that, that may not happen. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, please subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.